Who don't know and for today's video I'm going to be doing the followers choose my makeup um, so basically I put like a bunch of polls on Instagram and my followers chose what I do really so for example like which foundation I use which kind of eyeshadow like look to do um, which concealer bronzer all that good stuff so you're gonna see when you watch the video <laughs> um, but yeah so if you guys want to see how I did this look and see what my followers chose then just keep on watching Alright, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows and prepped my eyes off camera. So now we're going to move into eyeshadow. So for the poll, I put a colorful look or a more neutral bronze kind of moment. And apparently everybody wanted to see a colorful look, which is kind of crazy to me because I've been doing colorful looks like back to back. So, I mean, whatever, I guess you guys like it. So we're going to be doing a blue kind of moment today. Um, I'm super excited because I've never really done like a blue look before. So this should be very fun. Um, I'm mostly going to be jumping in between like four different palettes today. So it's super easy to follow along. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you guys can see all the detail. And then, yeah, let's get started. So first, I'm going to be working in my crease. So I'm going to jump in with the ombreezy palette right here and I'm going to be using the shades New Yorker and OG and I'm going to be jumping in with the Jackie Ina palette a little bit today and I'm going to be using this shade right here called ginger and I'm just going to blend all those and put them in my crease <laughs> crease is done you can't really see it because that was my transitioning color so now we're going to do a cut crease um realistically take it like up to here because i'm not doing like a full lid of blue today um so i'm going to take my naked concealer you know standard concealer if you guys have difficulty doing cut creases i highly recommend the morphe m224 brush it's like the perfect flat concealer brush Now that the cut crease is done, now it's time to get into the fun part. Um, so now I'm going to jump back into the Amrezi palette and I'm going to go in with this stunning color right here called Leo. It's like the perfect shade of blue and I've been dying to use it since I got this palette. So I'm going to take just a standard flat brush and tap that onto where I put the concealer. Ooh, like do you, oh, like, do you guys see that? Oh my god, it's just so good. Just I have warning, there's going to be a lot of fallout. Like you can kind of tell right here. Because I literally have like blue particles already on my face. So just keep that in mind. And then sometimes the bro oh my god, that looks so good already. That one looks like that. I'm just going to take my finger and just press into Leo and just press that onto my lid just so. I know it's on there. But this fallout is horrendous. I don't know if you guys can really see that. And then once the blue is laid on, I'm going to jump into the shade right here called Hugo. And I'm gonna put that on the outer V where that negative space is right there. And I'm going to pack that right on the outside and a little bit over here just so like the colors blend. I'm going to take the Morphe M433 brush, which is like a small blending brush, and I'm going to take a little bit of Hugo and bring that into my crease. Because I already put that shade right there. I'm gonna drag it out a little bit. And I'm gonna bring that right into my crease. And then just to darken up the outer V a little bit, I'm going to go in with the shade right here, this black shade called BK. And I'm going to be taking my Morphe M456 brush, which is like a small concealer brush. And I'm just going to smudge it in here just a little bit, just to give it that depth. 
Ooh, yeah, that looks good. And then blend that a little bit into Leo and blend that into Hugo. Now I'm going to be working on my under eye, so I'm going to hop in with the Urban Decay Christian Leanne palette. And I'm going to be using this blue shade right here called TRM. And I'm going to take this very small detailed brush. It's the Morphe M508 brush. And I'm going to dip in here and start dragging it on my under eye. to go back into the Amrithi palette and use the shade Hugo and I'm going to use this um, small brush here and put Hugo under the blue that I just used and like really like smoke it out. I'm going to go in with Leo and I'm going to put that right in the beginning of my eye. Like right by the tear duct. Now we're going to work with the inner corner highlight. Going back into the Amrezi palette and I'm going to use this shade right here called Barb. Uh, I'm going to use that first and then use a different color but in a different palette. So I'm going to take a little bit of that and put that right there. Like, oof. Then I'm going to jump back into the Jackie Ina palette. Going in with this shade right here called Soleil. Just to give it like another layer of sheen. Oh girl. All right, so this is how it came out. I know it looks kind of crazy right now because I have a bunch of fallout and no lashes or anything and only one eye done. So I'm gonna go do my other eye off camera, put lashes, mascara, eyeliner, all that good stuff and I'll be right back. All right, so now that my eyes are completely done, I already put lashes and eyeliner and all that good stuff, and I literally am obsessed with this blue. Like, I don't know, I'm just like obsessed with this blue. Like, oh, I just love it. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to jump into my face makeup. I already prepped my face with my primer. So now we're going to jump into foundation. So for the poll, I chose Fenty Beauty or Too Faced. And of course, everybody chose Fenty Beauty, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Um, so this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, and I'm the shade 440. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Now that my foundation is all done, now we're going to jump into concealer. So for the poll, it was either between Too Faced, again, or Fenty Beauty. And you guys, of course, chose Fenty Beauty. So for today, I'm going to be using the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealers. Now, I use shades 410 and 400, and I mix them just to give me the perfect color that I want. So what I do is I just, well, you're gonna see. <laughs> concealer is all done I'm just going to set my face with the Fenty Beauty setting powders um, I didn't have a pole for it so that's why I'm just gonna do my setting powder so after my setting powder my face gets like a little bit dry so I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty makeup refreshing spray just to hydrate my skin a little bit so Oof. and it smells like roses so it's literally everything wow so far my followers are giving me like a cute little beat right now <laughs> all right so now we're going to jump into blush for the poll i put um a tart blush that i have and dragon beauty's blush and the followers chose dragon beauty so i'm going to be jumping to the dragon beauty face press powder palette and i'm going to be using this shade right here called baby girl honestly i feel like this is like the perfect like blush for me because either like other ones that i use like the tart one it's like cute and whatever but it's not like 
this. So I'm just going to dip into that, smile. Alright, now after the blush, I'm going to be doing my contour. So for the pole, I put in either cream contour or a powder contour. And my flowers chose a powder contour. So I'm going to be using the uh, Fenty Beauty bronzers. I feel like bronzer and contour do the same thing for me really, so I'm just going to use that. Um, so I'm going to be using the shades Coco Naughty and Mocha Mami. So first I go in with Mocha Mami, which is the darker out of the two. Here, I'll show you guys. So, um, Coco Naughty is lighter than Mocha Mami. And so I just take an angled brush and... And then I'm going to jump in with Coco Naughty and just go over that. Now for my nose contour, I'm going back in with the Dragon Beauty Face Press Powder Palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right here called Surge just to contour my nose. I'm going to take a smaller angled brush and just start contouring my nose. contoured and snatched now we're going to jump into highlight which is literally my second favorite part like I cannot live without highlight so for the poll I chose a blinding highlight or a more natural subtle kind of highlight and for me personally I was crossing my fingers that nobody chose the subtle because I can't do subtle like I, I can't like literally I can't <laughs> and like a couple people chose subtle but blinding luckily won so I'm going to give you guys blinding I'm going to make you guys put on some sunglasses because girl girl so I'm going to be layering my highlight so you're probably like why are you going to be using like 20 different highlights it's because I like to build my highlight so it's like every layer gets like more blinding and blinding and blinding so um yeah so <laughs> first we're going in with the babe in paradise palette and I'm going to be using the shade right here called shady bitch and you can tell that I use black because I'm already hitting pan which breaks my heart but um, so we're going to do that first. And while I'm using Shady Bitch, I'm going to be using this for my nose highlight too. So I'm just going to jump back into Shady Bitch and put that on the tip just to highlight that. I'm going to put it slightly on my bridge of my nose. And after that, I'm going in with this shade up here called Mahu and I'm just going to take a fan brush and just glide over that. You see it's like building already like this. Oh it's like golden hour. Alright now we're going to make our way into the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit. Um, it's just the ultimate glow um, palette and there's like a whole like six different shades here but I'm going to be using this shade right here called Amber Glow and I'm going to just use another I'm going to use another fan brush, just dip into, just dip into that, and apply that. Oh, man, this is tricky. This is it. <laughs> and I'm not even done yet, like, that's the crazy part. Oh, doesn't that just look so, like, oof, looks so wet. I love that. Now this is where the magic really happens. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in the shade Megawatt. I'm going to go in with the JS4 brush, which is like a nice brush for highlighting. I'm going to slightly dip in it because it can get a little intense. Um, so I'm going to slightly dip into that. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Oh my god, I'm not ready. I'm not even ready. <laughs> oh my god, that is just... Mm. Oof. Oof. <laughs> this is why I love highlight because it literally just elevates your look. Now we're going to move on to setting spray and it was between the NYX Bear With Me setting spray or the Jeffree Star X Morphe um, Strawberry setting spray and my followers chose the Morphe X Jeffree Star um, setting spray so I'm going to douse myself in this. <laughs> Mm. It smells like strawberries. So good. 
And the last step is my lips. And for the poll, I chose either lipstick or lip gloss. I'm super happy that lip gloss won. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous because a lot of people voted for it, so I was kind of nervous. I was like, oh god, I really don't want to wear lipstick. Um, so for today, I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty um, lip gloss in the shade Lip Glass. It's just a clear one compared to the um, other ones that I have. I have way too many over here. It's bad. Um, so I'm just going to apply that on my lips. Ooh. Ah, so good. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and do some finishing touches and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and finished the look off camera. Um, I must say, I'm obsessed with this look. Like, my followers, like, y'all did that. Like, for real. Like, this look, like, the highlight, the eyeshadow, everything. Like, you guys did that. For real. Like, um... <laughs> um, but yeah, this video was, like, really cool to do. Like, to interact with my followers and, like, people that I haven't even talked to in, like, forever who follow me, like, participated. So that was, like, pretty cool. And, um... I don't know, it was just very different, very fun to do. Um, so I definitely might do stuff like this in the future if you guys enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for everyone who participated and chose this look for me today. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe because you know the tea on that. And yeah, that's all that I have for you guys today. Um, so I will see you in the next one. Oh, so keep on dancing, baby.